All right, we're back in there. And it's steady now. Um, yeah, I don't know who gave me that tip. Whoever did, whoever said that, just changed the server from my server. Thank you very much, because it's worked every single time. It's never... Was it Arctic that said that? Whoever said it, thank you. If you know who you are, you know who you are. Uh, thank you, because... Uh, yeah, you get a big thumbs up. If there's anything I can do for you that isn't illegal, let me know. And don't say give me a million dollars. So, what a weird, 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 what a weird glitch I ran into, and on top of that, what a weird, 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 uh, happenstance of, ooh, jeez, I gotta turn my headphone volume down, my jumps were loud and they're hurting my ear. General store is abandoned, so I know exactly how to beat this stage. I'm gonna go up there and get my snoo snooby snacks. And then I'll jump down the proper way. <laughs> That's not the proper way. I jumped right through that roof. That's a big problem with a lot of platform games is, you know, jumping and falling through the platform. It happens in more games than you probably know. You probably don't notice if you're actually good at the game and that it does that and that. Like, you just know the jump arc, so you just kind of know how to do it. But if you're new to a game, uh, you'll probably notice those things more than people who have played the game. And I've noticed that in this game, you do a lot of falling through platforms. You gotta be pretty precise and land in the middle. Alright, you gotta, you have to show her these boots to move on. Otherwise, I would just wait until the very end when I've collected everything and just drop them all on her at once. Mm, and I think I go straight up. I don't think I have to do anything else. I don't think I have to go up on that one. I think the fan's somewhere else. I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to get grabbed by this ghoul. Oh, this is where the fan is. The fan's up here. I'm gonna jump the rat. I'm not gonna bother trying to hit the rat. I know how to get through this stage well enough that I know I can just kind of damage boost through these guys. Like this, and then drop off. Ooh, I didn't get the uh, turnaround that time. She might give me a Scooby snack right there. I don't know. Generally, if she shows up in the area that you're in, she's going to give you a new Scooby snack. So, hey guys, need something to blow away the leaves? 
<laughs> I'm just gonna get hit by him and keep going. There we go. And show him that. Hey, he can use that. And hey, he can use that. Now he can blow away those leaves. Can't go through. They're blown. Need more gas. Let's go. So I am going to have to, I think this will be, this isn't going to be it for the night, but I do, I'll just uh, probably just end the stream and come back after I uh, cook my food so I don't sit. I generally don't like leaving the stream running when I'm not actually going to be playing anything for a second. And unless, unless people are like, like or, sometimes Oreo is just like, nah, just play some commercials and, or put a show on or something while you're gone. Just play some weird commercials or something, but... <laughs> Can't get away from him, but I always like trying. So where are some of the ones that I need? One of them I know is hidden. Uh, hidden under... What's it hidden under? It's hidden under the, uh... The beehive. I think you can actually jump from this platform and land on a platform over there and, like, speedily get through this part. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that didn't take me down. Get that, and... Oh, hopefully we don't fall and get hurt. Oh, we did anyway. Go this way. Uh, hopefully I can... I will drop this off on her right now. So that... We can take that hit. I think it helps you take hits better. But I'm not sure. I think there's a Scooby Snack up here. I think there's nothing up here other than the Scooby Snack. Or maybe this is where something comes at me. Nope. This is... I thought this is where there's nothing but a Scooby Snack. Take that. Alright. Then we go down and down. And we know that the guy spawns down here. We know this is where he spawns in the end. Maybe I didn't activate him. Maybe he activates here twice. So we're going to run into the corner. I saw something around here. Mm. Give me that Scooby snack. Ah, there's the mask. And then we get another pair of boots. And then we get the, the tar-covered suit in the other place and then we have to cross that little platform that's coming up but right now we can just jump the pumpkin grab the lantern and go down we don't need to go across that bridge ever so now that once once you're over here if you've done everything correct you don't have to go back over but i will i will take that hit to grab these boots I probably could have ran by and activated it and then, you know, done it again. But, nah. This way's faster. Is there anything up top? I can't remember if there's anything up here. I don't think there is. Ah, the map was up here. Uh, I, I generally uh, take the, the hits. It doesn't matter. I have the three lives. Uh, I'm almost done with this level. I would be done with it. But that weird glitch, it was weird. Because he was just... He was literally just right there and just walking. And he's, his hitbox wasn't active. So I don't think it... I think it's because I ran in there and got out so fast. Hey, Scooby got up there, but I didn't. So while we're waiting for this, because we do need that map. We need the map. I'll grab this. Leave. And hopefully it will be coming back down. Ta-da! Multitasking. This, this game doesn't have invincibility frames, so if you are getting hit, you're getting hit, and you're getting hit, and you're getting hit, and you're getting hit, until you're dead. So, you gotta give her all the clues every time. I think that's all of them. As far as up until this point, I think that is all of them. And now you just walk over here. Yeah, pretty lame that there's a hidden path right here. But there is. And... Ooh. 
And it's a pretty tough one to make this jump. When I tried to make this jump last time, I died and it just spawned me over there. But this time we're gonna do it. Uh, yeah, it's a really easy jump. I just freaked out the first time, I guess. So grab this oil and go in here and we grab something out of this room, but I don't know what it is. I pretty much just know that you grab something from X room and then you show it to people. I don't know what they are. I don't memorize them. You just need to know. Grab it from here. Grab it from there. Grab it from wherever. There we go. Go this way. And one more item, I believe. One more item. What do you have to say? Have a Scooby snack. Thank you. And there's a, there's a zombie up here. I'm going to take the hit and grab this thing just to make it go a little bit faster. There we go. And that's the last one. And now we set up the trap. I should have everything to do the trap. Yep, yep, yep. There's another zombie. There is another zombie. Ooh. Oh, I didn't switch over. There we go. Just show her that. And that should be the last one. Yep, that's it. She understands now. So we're going to go talk to Frank, you know, good old Frank. Right here. It's Frank. Hello, Frank. I'm Scooby. Here's his plan. I had to talk to him twice. Uh, Frank got this plan. We need a fan, a generator, and some gas. I have all those already. And we gotta go meet him. Meet him next to the end of the plank bridge. Yeah, you read that, I didn't. It went so fast, I missed it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We gonna get it first try? It's pretty hard when you do the run out. Ah, yeah, we got it. It's spooky when you do the run out, because you gotta jump really quick. Otherwise, you run right into the tar. So, we're gonna go out the door. Out the dough. To the left. You can't run out the doors. That's one weird exception to that rule. That one door right there. Normally, you just bump into doors if you try to run through them. We're gonna go this way, jump a pumpkin. Jump the spooky bouncing pumpkin. Tick over to this, groovy, groovy. Oh, okay, so you have to go in the particular order of fan generator, yes, you can't give them anything in any order. I actually realized that I think Hold on. Whoa. Not that. Filters. I have a chroma key on this, and it shouldn't be. Boom. That's how it's supposed to look. I was messing around with different overlays. I have a bunch. This is the one I stick on, though. I like this one. Alright, the trap is complete. Good work. Now all we have to do is lure him here. Well, I know where he is, but let's just see if it's going to glitch out this time. Yep. Oh, no, he's coming after me this time. Oh, let's get out of here. He's doing major damage to me. Let's go, Scoob. Yep. So you just got to get hurt by him in order for it to work. Great work, gang. We foiled the tar monster scheme. Now we'll find out... Who the villain is behind the tar monster? Dean Drawbell? Oh, but why? Why did you do it? Old Grumper's land is worth a fortune, and he was prepared to just waste it. Well, I wasn't so... I plotted to scare old Grumper into selling his land. Me as the tar monster, and my wife Nina dressed up as a zombie, and I nearly had his signature too, till you kids started to poke your noses in. Look at this dude. He looks weird too. I don't know who he looks like, but whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, 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 let me flip some pages, flip some pages, and put in this password of, oh, no, this pen doesn't work, we got so many bad pens. Oh, never mind. He's got it. He dropped it in chat. That's all we need. NBK SDLV. Thank you so much. 
Are we almost there? I'm starving. Ooh, this is like the creepy old graveyard. Oh, Scooby is really starving. Spooky. I'm really starving too. So I'm hoping I can beat this one and get a get a nice Scooby snack in my belly. And then come back with another cartoon horror game. Ooh, great, I can hear the kitchen calling me from here. What am I gonna make? Just pasta as usual. I do a cool little uh, throw Throw the butter in the bottom of the pan, get some nice butter going, and then throw some sriracha in with the butter, and then you just throw that on your noodles at the end. And uh, you still throw some cheese. You don't want to put too much sriracha in, just enough to get a little bit of a flavor. And you can throw some other things in there if you want. You can throw some tomatoes. You know, whatever. Depends if you know how to do that stuff. If you like to cook. If you like to cook, that's how you can do it. Let's get, let's get to it. Look at spooky. Let's get to it. Let's do it to it. We are on the the last level, probably. Yeah. Oh, this isn't. Oh, you, there's two parts of you, so there's there. And then... He nearly went broke. He blames it all on Count Bazooki. But Bazooki? Well, somewhere else to go now. Shaggy, I told you my aunt would... I told you my aunt... I told... No, I told my aunt that we would solve this mystery. And that's what we're gonna do. That's right, are you not scared? You're not scared, are you, Shaggy? I'm really bad at reading these half the time. The first sign of this count Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend look, there's a spooky manor, spooky people, and a spooky cat, spooky black cat. Don't get spooked. That's bad luck. See my cat on stream, that's bad luck. I curse this house and this land, I guess. Move. Move, kitty. You're just you're just knocking. Go. Find a spot and go. You ain't finding a spot and going. And then you're just trying to step on things that don't exist. Sit right here. He's a little spooked. You and Scooby help Velma and I'm doing it to look around. What? Uh, no, I was making a reference of he, he, uh, he spooked. <laughs> There's a mystery to solve here. See if you can... Oh, remember to bring me anything that looks suspicious. It's locked. So this one is really going to be like... And this one's really going to be hard. What's this? I don't think we need a wooden peg. Hey, guys. Be careful of that rat. It looks really dangerous. What rat? That one? Probably kills you in one hit. I'm not gonna go that way. Black cats are only bad luck for those who don't know any better. <laughs> yeah. The door at the top of the stairs is locked, guys. We can't go up there, Scoop. Door we can still go up there. There's no door handle on this side. Wow, this one's really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Intricate? Is this the same door I went? No, it isn't. Okay. What's that up there? Is that going to fall? Ow. Hmm. So if you bounce so high, you bounce so high that if you just fall, you get hurt. So, I gotta sniff around. I feel like... There we go. What is this? I don't even know what that is. Papers. Papers! Papers! It's a novel. <laughs> High quality blank paper. He was gonna write his novel on it. <laughs> this grade is only used for blank. What? Mystery update. Someone is using a lot of bank note paper. Bank note paper. <laughs> Not blank. Bank. Uh oh. 
Ha ha ha, you can never catch me. Oh, bank notes. As in like fake, like forging money and stuff? Fake checks, okay. Fake checks, he knows what's up. Ah, can't we just go and have a sandwich instead? Rare, sandwich, that's what I'm about to do. Go have a sandwich. Follow him, you guys. How else are we gonna solve this mystery? Why do we have to do everything? Give me that Scooby snack. You allowed you to like switch characters maybe each level. Ooh, that would have been really fancy. Oh, I didn't notice that. Like, I'm throwing watermelons. Hey girl, I got watermelons. Found anything? No, of course we haven't. <laughs> I'll sniff on all these tables though. Mm. Guess what? It's bonus game time! <laughs> no, I didn't. No, it just takes way too long to load doors sometimes, and then I know it's a bonus game. He just keeps dropping them perfectly on my head, and I can't do anything. <laughs> what do you think of that sound? Oh, I never even noticed. Those are like hot dogs in the background. Huh? More hot dogs, right? That's our daily dose of hot dog. Take it in. Look at that. I could probably take that. That's so standard. Is that not just like an OBS like classic? Just like if I took anything and scrolled it. Like, I could get that hot dog image and probably make that exact same background if you guys want to, like, just throw it throw it on there while you wait. Hot, hot dog hour. Oh, what's this room all about? What's this? A beer bottle. Can I jump up there, or is that... Huh. It looks like I'm gonna drop down into this room from somewhere. Hmm. Printing dye, what a lovely shade of green. It's exactly the color of money. It's a clue. Ah, see? This guy is making, he's making fake money in here. Moldy melons, ew. Someone's printing money in here. Somebody is printing money in here. Uh, let's see. I've I've already been in here. I don't need to go in there. I got the only item. The only other one is the rat one. So now I have melons to hit the rat with, though. So you have to do everything in this game in a particular order, which is okay. Because, like I said, it's point and click. It's not like a. It's not too, too hard. Do you think I can make this? Make this rat jump? I'm gonna jump right now. Oh, I can't make the rat jump. The door's locked. I ran right into it. Oh well. Hey Fred, what's up? The door at the top of the stairs is locked, guys. And it's, you're all cursed. You'll never catch me now. <laughs> Look at him go. Whoa -ho -ho -ho. Well, you just said it was locked. It's locked still. Yeah, this level's not too bad. Nothing's, nothing's come across as um, annoying yet. Accidentally went back out that door. It looks like there's blood all over the ground. What do you think it is? Ketchup? Yeah, probably. It's always ketchup. They went back to the blood and Found something. I don't know what that is, but I found it. I highly doubt it. Yay, bouncing on the bed, bouncing on the bed, bouncing on the bed. Can I get up on that platform?
Oh, there she is. Well, there's, there's a, there's a lady. Oh, she spooked me. I was like, fuck. I thought it was, I don't know. I, I know you shouldn't be scared because nothing ever has really popped out and scared me. Like, there isn't any of that stuff in the game. But for some reason, I thought something was just going to come in and get me. Good old mini games. Groovy. See if I can actually get this for the first time. Oh, I always whack Scooby on the first one. He's always in the same place, and I always whack him, too. Oh, no. Oh, no, I might as well just whack them all now. Get out of here, Scooby. Save time if I hit the people I'm not supposed to hit, actually. Isn't that great? Oh, I accidentally hit my timer. This game isn't getting timed. You couldn't see it anyway. Wow, this is how I'm going to use... This is where I'm going to use my... Tr Look at this guy. There's some person peering through these bricks right here. What you doing over here? What you gotta say? Keep searching. There could be clues anywhere. Hey, right where you were standing, there was a clue. It's a bat. Hmm. I do like how this. I love how this game pans out, just like an episode would, though, where we find like little clues that are just like, "Hey, that monster's not real." Blah 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 blah. This is very true to the cartoon game, and that's why normally, you know me, I'm just like, this game sucks, but I'm just like, no, this game's pretty solid of what I would expect of a Scooby-Doo game. They did a really great job. That's what I was saying. It's like, it's like Scooby-Doo. Mm-hmm. This one is... Yep. Yeah. This game gets my thumbs up of approval. Uh, f uh makeup. It's stage paint. Ah, for him to look like a... What a vampire need a rubber bat and some makeup for? Hey, I got a key. Hey, I went in this door. It was just where I was going at the time. It works. I love how the game, just intuitively where you think you should be going, is actually where you should be going half the time, too. I haven't had any trouble getting, like, confused in this game, really. It's been, like, straightforward. Where I think you should go is where you should go. Uh, all that was in this room was a suit. His suit, I guess. Let's keep going over here, though. Oh, there she is. Wow, that's just where I would like her to be. That looks like a vampire's tuxedo. Why would a vampire need a spare tuxedo? Yeah. A real vampire wouldn't need a spare tuxedo. <laughs> Why would a vampire need... This door is stuck. Guys, can you help me get it open? Great, it's opening. It just need both of us to push it. Hey, look at that. I... Like, I didn't even... <laughs> As everything's just working the way I think it should. That's why I'm so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I, I've i pretty much gotten used to the fact that you can't get away from when the monsters come after you. What's in here? Ooh, fake vampire teeth in the toilet. He was trying to flush his drugs down the toilet because he saw the mystery machine coming. Can I jump on anything in here? It's always good to check. Nope. Oops, I accidentally pulled up the map. And the best part is, this game is so, like, simple that I don't actually need the map, but if you did need the map, it's there. This game is golden across the board, in my opinion. Which is a rare thing for me to say about a game I've never played before. Mm -hmm. It's even a, a genre of which I don't like. I don't like point-and-click games. And this game just excels in every every way. That's cheese for the rat. That's cool. See, like, everything just makes sense. Like, I just picked up a block of cheese, and I'm like, what would that block of cheese be used for? Oh, obviously it's used for the rat at the start of the game. Rats love cheese. They just get straight to the point. Count Pagosi can't suck much blood without these false teeth. <laughs> the first level I got kind of confused on, though, because it was the first level I did. Ooh, that is a bad knight. He looks just like the other ones that came after me. Hey, where am I? Now I don't know where I am. 
Now I'm a little lost. <laughs> to be honest. I'll go in this door. Okay. Okay, got this book. And there is a cabinet right there. Oh, let me sniff the ground. That might be all I need. Is to bounce up there and get that. But just in case, I will sniff and jump. Yeah, I think that's all I need in that room. Yeah, this game, this game is pretty good. This book should be in the library. Take it to Freddy. He'll put it on the right bookshelf. Mystery update. Oh, what do you think about that? This book's probably going to open a little secret path in the library. Ooh, that's cool. All right. Oh, I've been in this room. Yeah, I am getting a little confused in this one because it does loop around because it's a giant mansion that loops around. But I know I've been in these double doors. I need to figure out... Oh, first floor, first floor cheese is where I'm gonna go first. And maybe that is also the library. So yeah, I can go back this way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um down? Is down the way I go to get to go? Uh down the stairs. There's no uh, I'm gonna go to the right. See if that knight respawns. No, that knight's gone now. Hmm. Hmm. Get to the cheese. And this door, I believe. The one with the doggy above it. Ah, see? So now I can... Throw this cheese. Oh, okay. He just eats the cheese and we're good. Don't even have to knock him out. That book should be on a uh, on the top of a high bookshelf. Okay. Well, I got this. Oh, he did drop a key. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up. I didn't notice it. It was behind him. Thank you. I would have skipped right over that. Oh, this is a hella platforming section. What a book have to do with Scooby Doo? Ah, look, books galore. What about this book? Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, rats! Should have got got a Scooby snack supply before I did this. Can I step on them? Oh, I can. Do I have to climb like all the way up here and then book, book, book? And now I can make this jump? Nope. Uh, no, I think that's what you're supposed to do, though. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oop, accidentally throwing some melons. Oh, this one's going really high up there. Maybe I can just drop some books on here. Nope, I can't drop books on a moving platform. I'm definitely supposed to get up there, though. So we're going to take a hit. I think. Nope, didn't take a hit from that. Because I am looking for another <laughs> book. So I am going to risk going all the way down here and climbing all the way back up for a book. Oh, okay. Well. Hmm. Well, I know I need those. But maybe if I take the time. Oh. 
Fighting rats is spooky, but I think I'm safe at this corner. And I got him. I watched the points shoot up. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Look who found the other book. It was me. I found the other book. Cool. So then do I use this book? Or can I just jump off of here? Let's see. Nope. Okay, so I gotta take these four books over to the other side. Right here. Alrighty. Four books to take to the other side to stack them up to get up. And this is a platform. I don't have to make that spooky jump like I did last time. Yeah, I'm digging this game. Hey, where's my last book? Hey, where's my book? Mm-hmm. That is some that's some nice puzzle solving right there. Get some oil to make it brighter. And luckily Luckily in this game you see the enemies even when it's um all dark and scary, you can still see the enemies. This oh, th it's only a barrel. It doesn't really look suspicious. So that's our that's our cue that that's our weapon to kill the boss at the end. Not to kill, capture, sorry. We are, we are humble, humble, um, crime solvers. We are not, um, judge, jury, and executioner. Like, like, um, dread. Like Krusty. He just, like, killed Yeah, he was judge, jury, and executioner. I didn't even think of that. Mighty unfair. See, luckily you even see the 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 platforms when they're like this, and I really appreciate that. I don't think it. You know, you could be like that. Just makes it too easy. You know what? Kind of does. I ain't about to complain though. <laughs> oh, I jumped straight into the water. Yikes! Zoinks! Guess is the more appropriate term. Kind of scared to go over there. What is this? This is where he prints the money, isn't it? Can't believe it. Oh, look at that! It's a five-dollar note. Oh, you're up to no good. Oh, am I stuck over here now? Oh no, I'm not stuck over here. Nifty. The game also didn't get me stuck. <laughs> I think that's enough evidence to lock this guy up for life, don't you? Damn, they're locking him up for life. Yeah. I think so. I'm a harsh judge. <laughs> Gonna lock this guy up for life. Alright. Alright. Jump too early last time. I need to respect the game and its its jumpings. Ah, oh, get him! Oh, I almost got him. I don't want to jump over there until I hit the rack because my HP is so low. He, yeah, I'm gonna run out of melons. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's go! Oh, smash that rat! <laughs> I'm gonna run out of melons. Yeah, they're moldy melons. Ooh. I think that's the exit, though. I think I came here just for that banknote. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I came here just for that banknote. 
But if there's something else hidden over there, dang, that sucks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I panicked and almost fell. I'm gonna grab all these books just in case I need them. Probably don't, but... You never know. Oof. That was a big, big hit to my HPs. Okay, rat's still down. So I'm gonna have to go... I'm gonna have to go back there for the barrel when I, when I get this guy. I need to go find Daphne and get some Scooby Snacks printing plate. Last piece of the puzzle, guys. Freddy will know how to trap this greedy slime ball. So I am on the final part, luckily. But I have, it says X1 life, and I don't know if this is my last life. I think this might be my last life, and I can't beat this, sadly enough. We've got a plan to catch the vampire. We need a clever trap. This is what we need to build it. Uh, we need a barrel, a barrel, a plank, and a peg. So where's Daphne? Because I need to find her and get some HP. There she is. Got a Scooby Snack, so my HP is okay. I know where the plank is. Oh, nope. I know where the, the little stabber is, the little spike. I know where... I know where the plank is. I don't know where it is, but I know where it is, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go back this way, because I have to go all the way... I have to go up here and get that barrel. That's the, uh, that's the stinky part about this level. I do have to go all the way back up here. The only problem is getting down from up here. I'm not very good at it. Oh no, I didn't know that it was gonna respawn the rat. I took a huge hit. I don't know that I can beat this because I think the last guy is gonna hit me. Unless you know of one like Scooby Snack that I did not pick up. I'm pretty sure I'm a goner. Sadly. I don't think you can... Because I would have gotten away from the other one without getting hit too. But not getting hit by him caused the game to glitch out. So we're going to go for a not getting hit by him. And see what happens. But I'm pretty sure he's going to hit me. just drop there. How to get down from here without getting hurt. I can't believe it worked. 
Ooh. I don't think I still don't think I can beat this. I'm scared of that night. Where is the plank? I think it's upstairs. I don't think, damn, I don't think I can do this without getting one little thing of health. I would have been okay if the rat didn't hit me, though. So it's my own fault for forgetting the rat was going to spawn. But, dang, I was so close. I was so close to first try in this level. Poop. Hey, get another moldy melon. Uh-oh, it's... Oh, I think he got me. Yeah, he got me. And I don't know if I get it. Like, I don't know if that's game over if I get another life. Okay, I got another life. Everything's a-okay. I was spooked for nothing, guys. I was spooked for nothing. My bad. <laughs> so I got the I got this. Where's the uh where's the board at? I know it's upstairs somewhere. So let's just book it. Let's book it, book it, book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Here's one. Oh yeah, that knight just almost got me. Ah, he still got me. Here we go. Here's the board. Got it. And now we're gonna head all the way back. And we gotta get that we gotta get that vampire to chase us though. So we got really lucky. We found him. We found him. We know where the vampire spawns, kind of, sort of, right? And he has an extra suit. Okay. Um, okay, so what do you want me to give you first? So I guess barrel plank and nail? Barrel plank nail? Barrel. Plank. No, you need the peg first. Barrel peg, barrel, barrel plug, barrel, barrel plank, barrel plank peg, barrel peg plank, barrel plank, barrel, it's hard to say fast. Barrel peg, barrel plank, barrel peg plank, barrel peg plank. It's hard to do. What? Isn't it hard to say? I keep saying plank. Yeah, barrel peg plank. It's a hard one. I got it. And I got this. Sorry guys, I need that to make the trap for the vampire. He's gonna set that up while I go find the vampire. So after this one, I am gonna go cook some food and I think I'll be back with one more game tonight, maybe, maybe. Unless you wanna all watch something, it's up to you. Ooh, I found him right off the bat. So I want him to be really close to me because last time, last time it didn't come out so well. So let's him be right behind me as we run and run and run and run and run. Hit the lights, Daphne. Hit the lights, Daphne. Oh, got him with our trap. We've got him. Great work, guys. Well, guys, let's find out who the imposter behind the Bogosi vampire is. It, that's one that's based off of. It's just. Well. That guy doesn't look like he means much harm to anybody. He's just probably tired of doing IT work for the past five years and wanted to have a little fun. Ah, oh, God. I just wanted to dress up as a vampire. We started out scheming to print our own money and uh, keep people away like you so that nobody would, you know, catch him. That was his plan. I think it would draw less attention to yourself if you just didn't act all creepy and have a haunted mansion. People are gonna think shit's up if you have a haunted mansion. Aw, oh, yeah, time to check the fridge. Yeah, he's, that's what he said. He was like, time to check the fridge. Uh, S-P-N-N-E, S-P-N-N-R?
Congratulations! That is Scooby Doo for the SNES. And I don't know what that password does, but I, I couldn't imagine it does anything. Look at these old timey photos. Isn't that weird? That's a pretty funny cre uh, credit scene. Do you think that's really them and they dressed up for this game for some random reason? Because it says Simon Hunter. I think that's actually them. I think they dressed up all old timey for some reason. That's weird. That's really weird. Doesn't that just kind of sound like the Mario Paint like dog going right now, where it's like. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> they couldn't afford a real soundtrack for this game, so they just grabbed Mario Paint and threw the composition in there. Use the doggy filter. This game is Scooby Doo is full of doggy. Full of dogs. Wow. So Scooby-Doo went well. Uh, that's another one down. Another one bites the dust today. Another one bites the dust today. How many was that? That was three down today. Actually, I forgot the other ones because I did them so fast and grabbed the record. And actually, they were they were a while back. They were on the other stream, you know, that first hour stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I am. That was number that was number 75. Right? I don't have my list here. Uh, before I get off, I will click on my list. Click on my list and make sure it's updated. So today, 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 I'm get I'm gonna be right back after I eat, but we got one more in me. I got a schedule to keep. I got a schedule to keep. How many have I done this month? I I don't know. I guess I'll check when. I'll check whenever I uh, actually open up my past broadcast and it gets closer to the end of the month. But I should have I should have 140 done, uh, and by the end of this month, if not more, because I think I'm going to skip RPGs this month. No RPGs. Yeah, I said mostly racing is what I wanted to do. Why? Because I haven't done any racing games yet. And I feel like I need to take care of some of those racing games to get them out of here. Get those racing games out of here. Eventually, I'm going to have to do some hard ones, like uh, Prince of Persia is a pretty hard one. But, you know, the time will come. What did we finish? We finished this one. Let's cross this one off the list. And we finished... Where is it? Ah, there it is. We finished this one. Let's cross that one off the list. And we finished Scooby-Doo. <laughs> ah, Scooby. It just says Scooby. It doesn't say the do. Get that Scooby-Doo in there. That was a fun game. Um, it wasn't too hard. <clears throat> pretty, pretty easy, to be honest. But there's nothing wrong with that. You know I like that sometimes. There's nothing wrong with a nice, especially after Krusty. That was just a fun little, fun little Halloween ditty of finding out who was doing what, and finding those clues, and putting those bad guys behind bars. So I'm gonna go make some food. Probably take about a half an hour, maybe an hour, uh, and I'll be back. And I'll play one more for tonight. And I already know what it's gonna be. I know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be another Halloween themed one. There's plenty of those. I might as well try and pump out as many of the Halloween games as possible. So thank you for watching. This is just a... This is just a temporary goodbye. Don't worry. I'll be right back.